Welcome back, everybody. If you've ever wondered where we find our great guests, well, the answer is sometimes they find us. Like my next guest, Lisa Yuan, she was in the audience at one of our Scrapbooking Week shows, uh, and she not only brought her scrapbook, she brought a box filled with incredible flowers that you see on the table here in front of me. These beautiful, beautiful paper flowers, and, uh, well, we were very impressed, so we invited her back to show us how to make them. And uh, welcome to the show. It's Thank so nice to have you here. So, Lisa, how long have you been making flowers like this? Um, the process has been gone over for about 15 years. I come from a really excited craft family, uh -huh. and my sister Janice, who's in the audience today, Hi. we um, used to make a lot of cards, and we still make cards, and we'd have a lot of leftover paper from trimming things, and we never wanted to throw it away. Right. So we thought, what can we do with it? And we thought, oh, we'll boil it and make make some flowers. <laughs> oh good, so you're making paper out of paper. Yes. Making flowers out of boiled paper. Yes, paper. Okay. because it turns it into a kind of a clay. Yeah. So what kind of paper do you uh, do you need for these? We start flowers? with a... Um, oh, I just want to show, I'm going to show everybody. Look at this. These are peonies. Now you love peonies and this is a real peony, but they look so so beautiful together and uh, and, the, and yours are just as pretty as the real thing. Thank you so yeah, much. They really are. They're great. So, um, so what kind of paper are we going to use? We're going to start with 20 pound recycled white paper. Okay. And you just basically rip it up. And what you're going to do is boil it kind of like pasta paper. Now, if it has print on it, is that okay? It's better not to oh. because then um, you can, the paint will not cover it completely because oh. it's very light paint. Oh, okay. So what you're going to do is boil this in like five quarts of water um, to 20 sheets of paper. Okay. And you're going to boil that for about an hour. And what happens is it becomes kind of this mush here. Oh, so this is it. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Oh, it is very mushy. Yes. Yep. And we have, we're going to osterize it so it becomes a smooth paste. So about a cup okay. of the paste, and you're going to put it in here to How two much? cups of water. Okay. Plop. Plop. It is not a glamorous okay. craft, Martha. Oh, but, but what happens is glamorous. Now, I hear you're an actress. I am. Can I turn this on? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we could turn it on if it were turned on. Can we have uh, power here, please? Dun, dun, dun. Well, what happens is it really osterizes to a really smooth paste. Maybe there's a switch on here. And ah. yes, I am an actress on Broadway. I have performed for about eight years on Broadway. And a little bit of people know, surprisingly, actually being on Broadway is a great way to do crafts. Because uh -huh. for the last two years, I was in a show called the Putnam County Spelling Bee, and I oh. was standby for two I, years, which oh, I means like that, that show so much. Thank you so much. And I was basically. <laughs> Oh, you know what? We're going to take a break and figure out why our electricity isn't working. And then we're going to turn this paper into a beautiful flower. We'll be right back. Lisa Yuan, who uh, was a viewer and now is our chief crafter of paper flowers. So uh, once you uh, really process in the uh, blender this paper, this soaked paper, you uh, just press it out onto a sill pad? Right. It becomes into a smooth paste. And what you want to do is you want to press it so the paper becomes almost one millimeter Thick. Oh, I see. And, and you and, get all the water And use out. a sponge. Oh, right. I see. And, oh, so you're taking the water and then and you just let it dry or do you actually put it in the oven? You actually let it dry uh -huh. um, overnight. And after a couple hours, what you want to do is you want to use a rolling pin to take out all the imperfections. And, and here you go. And this is what you are, this is how easy it is to make paper out of paper. <laughs> it's uh, but it is a beautiful textured paper. Thank and you. this is what, or the, this is what you make the petals of the flowers yes, out of. Yes, which we're going to do oh, next. Okay, Follow so. me. Oh, okay. So to make a peony like this, what you're going to do is use about 50 petals. And we, actually, I have been working this morning, and I made you, oh, yes, you 50 did. petals already. We want to start with 20 large, 20 medium. Oh, so you just and cut out. And do we have the templates for yes, all of these? Yes, we do. Too? Oh, you're on our website at MarthaStewart.com, just um, print, out your, print out your templates. Here they are. Oh, yeah, this is great. So you that's have the large. staff here that put oh, that yeah. together. Oh, yeah, fantastic. And then how do you paint them? Well, what you do is we have a mixture of paint. And for one peony, that's about two cups of water. 
and a third a cup of acrylic glaze, which acts as a binder and a water root color, and about a teaspoon of magenta paint and this iridescence, because everybody loves oh, glitter. Oh, yeah, everybody's, I mean, even nail polish has iridescence in it this year, right. everything. So, so, so that's all them. mixed up, and you just dip the paper petal? Right, and Martha, I've been doing this for about 15 uh, years, and this is the very first time I've used gloves. Uh-huh. <laughs> it is that's very nice here. Only to save your manicure, my dear. Right. Okay, so then these have to dry. Yes. Again, and I, I see that you're using a plastic wrapped uh, cookie sheet. Right, and as they're drying a little bit, a couple hours later, what you want to do is form it, and that to make it look like a real petal. Oh, and I so see. Oh, and, and it just folds. Oh, and it just bends and and and. Oh, I see. And, and a little bit of curve. Oh, okay. It's nice because each petal is a little bit different, so sure. each of them has a. So, but not quite dry. Right. Okay, so just like that. And you let that dry. Okay. So let's move over to the center of the peony. And what you do there is you start with a strip of oh, I see. yellow paper. Oh, I see. And then you just snip it to make it look like, oh, like this. Like a comb. Yes, okay. you cut it to look like a comb. But Martha, let me show you a shortcut. You can fold it in half. Oh, OK. And you could cut it almost to the very end. Oh, OK. You could even do it four times. Right. And you go to the very, oh, yeah. yeah. These are Fine. very good Martha Stewart These are the Martha scissors. Stewart craft scissors. <laughs> Don't you love our craft things? I do love your craft ah. things. I am a diehard crafter, Martha. This is so fantastic. So we already have one already cut, and you do too. And what you want to do is roll that. Okay. Very tightly? Yes. And that will be the center of your beautiful peony. Right. You roll this. This is actually my favorite part because it kind of looks like... <laughs> The top of a uh, paper decoration on a lamb chop. It does. It's like I call those pantaloni tunies. Pantaloni those little tunies. papers, yeah. <laughs> so earlier we made little um, acorns that look like um, they're the paper pulp that someone smushed oh, yeah, into here. an acorn okay. with a point at the end. And um, here, actually, one second, I have our wedding favors. I'm getting married oh. in August, oh, and you we are? have a little oh. mini peony. How beautiful! That's What's right in there. the box? Um, I'm marrying a golf professional, so inside is a golf ball. Oh, how fantastic. Personalized. <laughs> and, uh, so what did your friends say when you told them you're going to be on the show? My friends were ecstatic as well as I was, and um, we're going to glue this together. Okay. And, but surprisingly, uh, they were not, not on. super surprised because I, as I mentioned, is I'm a diehard crafter and a diehard fan for years. So, these so just to give you perspective, I was here on the show on Thursday when you want to flare this out. Okay. When Howie Mandel and Gary Marshall was here and the entire audience was so excited. But really, I was sitting there with my scrapbook, so excited that Darcy Miller was going to be here. <laughs> I love Darcy Miller. Oh, we all do. We love her. Oh, her personality is so Is she so helping sweet. you with your wedding? Oh, could you oh. hook me up? Oh, that yeah, just give her a call. <laughs> oh, yes. So here we have the acorns, okay. and here's one already set that's flared. And then you start building with the petals? Yes. We're going to start with the small petals, and we're going to glue it to the very edge here. Okay, so put some glue so around this edge. On the beginning, you want to do about five, so it's not completely boxed in. Okay. And you have to hold them. Mm -hmm. You have to hold and them. And watch out for your fingers. Right, right. And, uh, oh, this looks so beautiful That's already. Perfect. Yep. Right. So you want to do the inner flowers. And actually, we will cut a step because this is beautiful TV. And we are here with your okay. 10 little ones right there. Now how long does it take you to make one flower? Um, it's hard to say because, you know, Martha, I live in a 450 square foot studio. <laughs> So it's not as easy to use crafts as it is here. So a lot of times right. it'll take days for things to dry. Oops. and um, But many, many hours and many days, I yeah. have to say. 